here is a cube a b c d e f g h uh, this is cube and i hope you know that each edge or every side of the cube is same equal okay i mean if the length of ab is x length of bc will be x length of ch will be x every side will be x m is the midpoint of the edge gh m is the midpoint of gh okay then find the size of the angle between the line ma let's join m with a m with a and the plane abcd okay see this is plane abcd this is plane abcd imagine you that you are in such a room which is in a cube shape like this then you know this will be the floor of that room so they are asking you to find the angle between this floor and this line ma ma okay please try to imagine this in your room you are sitting in your room okay and this is a wall this is a wall on the top of the wall on the top edge of the wall you have taken some midpoint that is m now you are joining that midpoint m uh, to the point a which is on the opposite wall and it is at the bottom of the opposite wall so let's find the angle between m a and this floor so for this first we are going to draw a perpendicular here it will come at the midpoint of b c you can assume it to be p now join a and p a and p so please try to understand that this angle which is between m p and a p is 90 degree because a p is horizontal and m p is vertical so this is perpendicular m p is perpendicular on a p okay okay now we need to find this angle we need to find angle m a p okay let's do this so first do we know the value of m p yes m p is equals to h c and it is x do we know the value of a p no we don't know a p so to get a p we are coming in this triangle a b p okay let's come in triangle a b p in triangle a b p we are going to use pythagoras theorem so in a b p angle b is 90 it is between ab and bc so angle b is 90 opposite to ab and opposite to angle b is ap so ap is hypotenuse so uh, when you use pythagoras theorem you can write hypotenuse square is equals to perpendicular square plus base square uh, ap is hypotenuse because it is opposite to the perpendicular and these are the uh, other two sides so ap we are here to find ap ab is x because we have assumed that every side of this cube is x x is square plus bp see bp is half of bc so half of bc means half of x and then i square now ap square will be equal to x square plus uh, if you solve this you are going to get x square upon 4 here and uh, let's solve this take 4 as denominator 4 multiplies x square will become 4x square plus x square ap square will become 5x square upon 4 okay now we can get the value of ap so <clears throat> this ap will become a square root of this 5x square upon 4 now 5 will not come out of root but x square will come out of root and this 4 is the square root of 2 so i hope a square root of 4 is 2 so we have got the value of ap okay now please see this triangle please see one minute let me copy this page okay please see triangle amp in triangle amp i had told you that angle apm or angle p is 90 degree okay so now i'm entering into this triangle amp in triangle amp okay we are going to use pythagoras theorem opposite to 90 is am so am is hypotenuse hypotenuse square is equals to perpendicular square plus base square you can write ap and mp for perpendicular and base uh, am we don't know am we are here to find am ap is we have found ap it was uh, we need ap square and ap square was if you remember it was 5x square upon 4 
uh, this is the value of AP square MP square you know MP is equals to HC if HC is X MP is also X so it will become X square let's uh, simplify this so 4 is the denominator 4 is the LCM of denominators uh, this is 5x square plus 4x square on simplifying this you are going to get 5 plus 4 9x square upon 4 okay if you simplify it more you will get the value of am and that will be square root of 9x square upon 4 square root 9 is 3 square root of x square is x square root of 4 is 2 so this is the value of am okay now please check this triangle please check this triangle amp in triangle amp we know all the sides mp is x ap uh, is x root 5 upon 2 and this am is 3x upon 2 so if you know all the sides of a triangle you can easily find any angle so you know we are going to find angle with the help of cos rule i hope you know cos rule i'm going to use cos rule to find that angle uh, first of all uh, you know cos rule is cos a is equals to b square plus c square minus a square upon 2 uh, bc okay suppose you have this triangle where uh, uh, these vertex or angles are abc so suppose you want to find this angle okay you can write cos a then this bca okay opposite to a is side small a opposite to b angle is side small b and opposite to c angle is this c okay this side is a this side is a small b this side is small c this is how we use this formula so i'm going to use this formula to get angle here okay so please see this is the triangle which we have we are trying to find and this angle angle uh, a okay angle a this is angle a so let's find angle a so we will write cos a is equals to now we have to write the square of those sides which are not opposite to these this so opposite to this is mp we, we are not going to write mp we are going to write am and ap so let's write let's write am square plus ap square okay now we have to subtract the square of that side which is opposite to angle A and it was MP. And here we have to multiply 2 and these two sides AM and AP not their squares only sides. So cos A we are trying to find angle A. AM square you know we know the value of AM square. AM square is this 9x square upon 4. So let's copy. 9x square upon 4 9 x square upon 4 plus ap square if you remember ap square was 5x square upon 4 and mp square mp was x so it is x square divided by 2 multiplied by am am was 3x upon 2 and ap was x root 5 upon 2 okay i hope it is clear So let's <clears throat> solve after this. Please check every step which I have given here. If any of these steps is confusing you, please let me know. Now, see, cos A is equals to, let's simplify this numerator. So, you know, 4 will be the LCM of the denominators. And we are going to get 9x square plus 5x square minus 4x square now we are going to solve this denominator uh, this will become 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 6 root 5 and x multiplies this x we get x square divided by 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 <coughs> okay now we can reduce this 4 1 times 4 1 times okay so cos a will become 9 plus 5 14 minus 4 10 x square divided by 6 root 5 x square i hope this is clear okay x square and x square will be cancelled uh, this is 10 upon 
6 root 5 let's denominator let's rationalize the denominator to make it easy uh, multiply root 5 multiply root 5 in denominator uh, if you multiply 10 and root 5 you are going to get 10 root 5 and if you multiply 6 root 5 and root 5 you are going to get 30 because root 5 and root 5 if you multiply them you get 5 5 multiply 6 you get 30 if you simplify it more you will get root 5 upon 3 so cos a is equals to root 5 upon 3 root 5 is 2.236 if you divide it by 3 you are going to get 0 0.745 this is cos a okay now if you write cos inverse then you can exchange these values 0 0.745 will come here and a will come here if you find the value of a on calculator inverse of this value on cos will be uh, 41.84 degrees so approximately this is the value i hope it is clear